Hello, I'm David the Wandering Ponderer. Here we are. A little bit of wind, but uh, as you can see, the crop in this field is coming on. I'm not sure exactly what they are but uh, here we have it some sort of berries the flowers are there tiny little flowers and I'm sure the the pollinators will be out this morning a house just uh, down the road from me had a bee swarm now we've known they've had bees in their chimney stack in one in an air brick not wasps bees we've looked at them through uh, binoculars and I did catch a sh shot of the swarm and it was moving into an air brick, not moving out. So there was an existing hive there. Um, I think maybe in the uh, air brick next to it. But uh, yeah, there was quite high an activity. So this is the season, this May is the time when uh, you get a lot of swarms uh, hives start swarming because this is the busy time when all the flowers, these beautiful flowers are out and look at this I don't know what this is but I will find out. This is lovely. There's more. These are different. Look at these. These are different. Don't quite know what they are. But look at that. Isn't this beautiful? Beautiful stuff. Now it's getting a bit windy, so I'm going to. Uh... Ooh. <laughs> More. More. Wonderful. They're all down there. And if you look, they're all down there. Having wild flowers growing between the rows of your crop might be quite a wise idea. Attracts the bees and all the other pollinators. So while they're gathering nectar from these wild flowers, they can be uh, jumping on your crop, pollinating your crop. A bit of wisdom, it may be accidental, but wild flowers are an essential. We 
because bees do like a variety of different nectars and pollens. I'm guessing that is. I'm not a bee, so I couldn't tell you. But we do have a shot of the tree. And under that tree, we have the gnome's lair somewhere. But, uh, <laughs> David, you're still banging on about gnomes. Well, I might as well be banging on about gnomes because the world seems to have gone a bit crazy now. And all the craziness that's going on in America with people with AK-47s uh, doing their... So, their peaceful protests with an AK-47 I might as well get myself a nuclear bomb and go down the high street and do a peaceful protest with that it's crazy we have a crazy world and I'm glad I live in the UK and we don't actually have a massive gun culture because guns come on right this bit is a footpath and as you can see we're heading down there and along there are Solar panels. Got myself a new piece of equipment that I'm testing out as well today, which is a monopod. I used normally use a monopod, but it's a light a light monopod, which is uh, just like a larger version of a selfie stick. This is a heavy duty one, and uh, it extends quite well to help steady some of my zooming shots and camera shots so hopefully the picture will improve for you it's quite heavy show you what I can see see that lifesaver ring maybe it's something to do with that maybe there's a big body of water down there we'll have a look I know there's a sewage farm sort of well over that way somewhere I think but it may come out this way who knows someone does <laughs> more young trees down here more young trees I'm gonna say hello to a young tree You've got to encourage these youngsters to grow these days and to behave themselves. 
this one. Look at that. Maple? Healthy environment though, you've got all this lichen here. That's a sign that the environment around is quite healthy because the uh, lichen is very fussy. So we have here corn right that's private land there so you can't go any further 